In this video, we'll learn how to determine the primary connection for a three-phase transformer bank. To identify the primary connection, we'll need to reference the transformer's primary coil voltage rating and the system's phase-to-neutral and phase-to-phase -phase voltage. Using that info, we can decide whether to connect delta or y. Before we begin, remember that the primary coil voltage rating can be found on the nameplate of the transformer labeled HV for high voltage. If there are two numbers, the primary voltage will always be the smaller number. So, on this nameplate, it's 7,200 volts. To determine our connection, let's consider the Y primary connection rule. If the primary coil voltage ratings of the transformers match the phase to neutral voltage of the system, connect Y. Here, our phase to neutral voltage matches the primary coil voltage rating on the transformer of 7,200 volts. So we'll connect the transformers as Y. A Y connection maintains a phase to neutral connection. If we connected these transformers phase to phase and tried to feed them with 12,470 volts, we'd break down the insulation and damage the transformers. Now, let's look at how to determine a delta connection. The delta primary connection rule states if the primary coil voltage ratings of the transformers match the phase-to-phase -phase voltage of the system, connect delta. Here, the system voltage is 7,200 volts, and the primary coil voltage rating on the transformer is 7,200 volts. So we should connect the transformers as delta. A delta connection involves connecting the primary to the system to maintain a phase-to-phase -phase connection. If we connected these transformers phase-to-neutral, with a system voltage of 7,200 volts, we'd only get 4,160 volts on the primary side, supplying insufficient power to the customer. Note that there is an additional method to determine a delta connection. If the transformer's nameplate has only one number for the primary coil voltage rating, it should only be used for delta connections. Let's practice a few connections. For our first example, the primary coil voltage rating on the nameplate is 19,900 volts, which matches the phase-to-neutral voltage. So, these transformers should be connected Y. In the second example, the primary coil voltage rating on the nameplate reads 4,160 volts, which matches the system voltage. So, these transformers should be connected delta. In our third example, the primary coil voltage rating on the nameplate reads 12,000 volts. Since there's only one number listed, we know they should be connected delta. In our last example, the primary coil voltage rating is 12,000. This matches our phase to neutral voltage, so these transformers should be connected Y. So, what did we learn? We can determine the proper connections on a three-phase transformer bank by comparing the primary coil voltage rating of the transformers to the system voltages. If the primary coil voltage ratings of the transformers match the phase-to-phase -phase voltage of the system, use a delta connection. If the primary coil voltage ratings of the transformers match the phase-to-neutral voltage of the system, use a Y connection. Remember to always check your voltage and rotation according to company procedures. Thanks for watching this Northwest Lyman College tutorial. Work safe out there.